for those of you looking to put on muscle, exercise selection can either make or break your entire experience. In today's video, I wanna to cut to the chase with you guys. The best five exercises for building muscle, for building a strong foundation. Okay, so before we get started, there is a few bullet points to go over. One, avoid machines. Exercises that are centered around machines just don't have the ability to be progressive in their resistance and their refinement over time. Some machines can be okay for auxiliary work, but for your big main lifts, you've gotta use dumbbells, barbells, and the gravity of your own body weight. The first two exercises are push exercises. Number one is bench press, and number two is overhead press. Now with both of these, as you can see, they're multi-joint exercises. They don't isolate anything. So with both of these exercises, you're going to be focusing on your chest, your shoulders, and your triceps, all of the big muscles that push weight away from you. Now, if you don't have the ability to bench press, push-ups can work okay for a while. Push-ups on rings can work even better for a while. And bar dips, either on rings or just with bars, can also work really good. But you're gonna wanna do bench at some point. With bench press, the most ideal is to either use dumbbells or barbells. Like I said, don't use a machine. Generally what people find is that by using barbells with your bench press, you can actually move a lot more weight because of the stability of the bar. Now this doesn't necessarily mean you're getting a better workout, but pushing more weight is an easy variable to connect to and register and keep data on over time. Um, moving on, so with the overhead press, um, again, you can do this with dumbbells or you can do this with barbells. The only really alternative to this one is the upside down push-up on a wall or if you can do a handstand and do a push-up, you are already a beast. Um, you see people doing this in CrossFit all the time. This is more of an advanced move. So if you can do upside down handstand push-ups, then focus more on simple overhead press. With the overhead press standing, so doing them non-seated, doing them standing, is going to give you better overall benefit for beginners and people who are looking to build a muscular foundation. Um, once you get to the advanced places, then some variations for both of these, incline presses, seated dumbbell stuff, um, overhead press can be augmented. But in the beginning, and as you're just really focusing, keep it super simple. Overhead press and bench press is all you need for your chest, shoulders, and triceps for many years. Get really good at these, meaning take some time and build your strength with each one. Take some time and build your endurance strength, meaning high reps as well. If you accomplish both of those things, your triceps, shoulders, and chest will be muscular. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is pull exercises. So these are the opposite of push. They're the analogous muscles, the antagonist muscles, if you will, and these two exercises are beasts. So number one, pull-ups. And this is the question I get all the time. Rob, I can only do one pull-up. So should I do something like lat pull-downs instead of pull-ups? And I always tell people, no. If you're a grown man or a grown woman, you need to be able to do some freaking pull-ups in your life. It's one of the basic human movements. And not being able to do some pull-ups shows up in your body. When you can bust out five, 10, 15 pull-ups, it will show up where? Your biceps, your forearms, your entire back, and a lot of times in your traps too. It'll also show up in your abs because it takes a lot of core strength to do pull-ups correctly. If you're someone who can't do any pull-ups, do this. Start off with a band assisting your pull-ups or Simply start off with one rep. Master the one rep, master the hang, master the half rep, master, master the, um, the negative pull up, and build from one rep up to three, and then three up to five over the years. When I first started doing pull ups, I started doing them because 
I felt like I'd been working out for a few years. I'd been doing lat pull downs, I'd been doing all sorts of back, but my pull ups were weak. I was only able to do like four or five, and I didn't like that. And my back, my lats, my lower back was just not developed at all. I had a bird back. Then for years I said pull ups and pull ups only. Now I can bust out sets of 20 on the pull ups, and my back is my biggest and strongest body part. 40 pull ups in two sets, so instead of 25 instead of 15. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'll get it, but that's what I'm going for. So honestly, the absolute key to pull-ups is Grip RX. I'm going for 20. <laughs> 21. <laughs> pull-ups are the king of the pull exercises. As I said, pull exercises are gonna hit your biceps, you're gonna hit the rear delts, you're gonna hit your traps, and you're gonna hit your back, the whole darn thing, and your core. Pull-ups are the bomb, focus on them. To fill out and to round out the back this way, so pull-ups will make you wider. Now for the three-dimensional look of the thickness, you need to do some type of horizontal pull where you're pulling the weight vertically instead of pulling your body vertically. Where does that come in? Simple bent over row. There's lots of variations with the bent over row. I believe that the one to master is the most simple and straightforward one, and that's the barbell row. Check out the movie Pumping Iron. This is the one that um, Arnold Schwarzenegger is just going off on. He's doing it on a T-bar, which is kind of a machine, but it's also in between. Um, it's where you get your body at a 45 degree angle and you're just rowing right to there. Um, it's an uncomfortable position. You have to stabilize your back, you have to stabilize your core, you have to stabilize your legs. But that's the key to compound movements. They build total body muscle and they don't waste time, especially when you're new. So I suggest using a barbell, but you can use with bent over rows, dumbbells and do them one at a time or dumbbells and do those two at a time. Um, sometimes you can get away with uh, heavy, um, uh, heavy freaking, what the hell are those things called? Honey, what are those things called that we use all the time? What kettlebell. God, sorry, I'm a, I'm a total idiot sometimes. Um, you can use a heavy kettlebell. It works just like a dumbbell, um, a little bit different grip stuff. But that's it. That's all you need to do for pull is master these two things. And before I go any further, I already know what some of you guys are going to think. Okay, so I do two push exercises and two pull-up exercises, and that takes care of my whole upper body. Well, what about my arms, dude? I want huge arms. The number one mistake newbies make are people trying to be muscular as they focus on their arms and their quads. Leg extensions don't do anything for building real thick foundational muscle, and bicep curls and tricep extensions don't do much until you have something there to shape. Your biceps will grow as soon as you get strong at pull-ups and rowing. Your triceps will be giant as soon as you've put 50 pounds on your bench press. Um, when you can bench press 225 pounds for 10 reps, you won't have small triceps. If you start off benching 100 pounds and then a year later you can bench 180 pounds, your triceps will be way bigger. Save the specialty bodybuilding isolation work for later on down the line. Master this stuff first. Sorry for the caveat rant. Let's get back to the exercises. <laughs> legs. And the cool thing about the legs is that you only need one exercise in the beginning to learn and to really smash home a nice strong lower body. There's a lot of different variations though within this movement. And so the number one movement is squat. You gotta squat. Now, how is up to you and how you squat will be based on your flexibility in your ankles, knees, and hips, um, just the way that your bones lay, just the proportions of your body, the length of your legs, the length of your upper body. Not everyone is gonna be able to safely, comfortably back squat with a barbell. Unfortunately, we have to do a lot of rehab and prehab to get some people there. 
But the good news is, is that any type of squat, when you are bending your knees and dropping your hips down and keeping your back strong and stable, that's a squat. So the best one is the barbell squat on a rack. We all know that. But some other good variations is like a sumo squat with a heavy dumbbell, front squat. And for those of you who are maybe going the more body weight and calisthenics route for some of your exercises, a single leg squat can be pretty good for a few years. If you're learning the art of a single leg squat, holding onto something, or then at some point doing the pistol squat and balancing on one leg while you squat, and you can bust out 10, 15 reps on a single leg while you balance, you're gonna have some juicy, strong, muscular legs just from that. So as you can see, those are five exercises, and that's really, honestly, all that you need. For anyone who's had a transformation with their body, um, they most likely have gotten good at these five exercises. So we have squat for the legs, for the pulling, for the biceps, and for the rear delts, and for um, the back, we have pull-ups and bent over row of some sort, and for our triceps, chest, and shoulders, we have bench press and overhead press. Master those five exercises, and I guarantee you will be a lot more muscular six months from now, a year from now, two years from now. Consistency is the freaking key, my friends. And if you want to see kind of my version of um, how I put a whole workout routine together, focusing on these five things, I do have um, a video out. I had a really strange year a couple years ago. I put on about 37 pounds in less than a year. Pure muscle, I came come from being vegan and so I would lost a lot of body weight and lost a lot of muscle due to the diet. I, I changed my diet to a keto carnivore diet and I changed my, my muscle building routine up slightly and the results just, just bam, they smashed in. And I do have a video explaining step by step my whole progression and workout routine. Um, so for those of you who want more detail, you can check that video out. I'll link it at the back or I'll card it or whatever. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Leave all your comments and questions down below. Normally people are coming to me for overall health and mostly skin health. And if you're looking to get some help in those areas, head over to my website, holistichealthactivation.com, or you can sign up for a consultation by clicking the link down below. Um, again, thanks so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, remember to share, remember to hit the notification bell. Remember to be awesome, remember to love yourself, remember that it's not that easy to build muscle if you're not consistent. So I'll leave you with this one tidbit. And if you do these five exercises and you do these two things, I can 100% look you in the eye and guarantee that you'll be a sexy muscular person. One, do these five exercises. Two, eat clean and get enough calories in every single day. Lots of fat, lots of protein. And the number one thing will be being consistent with your exercises and progressing with them over time. If three months from now you're squatting the same amount you were three months earlier, you're, you're doing something wrong. You're, you're not consistent enough. You're doing a program that's a little weak or wild. Same thing with pull-ups. If in a six month time you're still at one pull-up, um, it's time to reach out and get some extra help or learn some new things. This workout program, all workout programs to work, they have to be progressively overloading your body. So that means that if I can bench 200 pounds a year from now, 200 pounds won't build muscle the same way it does for me right now because it's hard. Progressive overload. Anyway, I'm rambling. Much love you guys. Have a good weekend. Have a good week. Um, good luck building that muscle. Yaga!